Hey everyone, this is Gizditch and I just want to apologize for not making any videos recently because I was busy with work and school. But now it's summer, I can make videos now. Alright, well let's get back on track. For this tutorial, we're going to do a try and catch syntax. And you'll see why we'll be needing that soon during this video. Alright, well, so far our code is already set up. Everything, import scanner, everything. And pretend there's an if, else if, and else statement here. Alright, well, now let's compile it. Alright, let's do Java C tutorial. Alright, we got it. Alright, now let's run it. Alright, it says choose one of the options. One through three. Meaning that uh you have to choose a number that corresponds to the item that you desire. I wish to have a stake, so let's have one entered. It works. So, what if someone just put like a random character like E, L, T, etc. Crash. We don't want to crash. In order to rectify that problem, we got to use the try and catch syntaxes. So, in order to use that, we have to import a library. So, import java.io. Star meaning everything from the IO file. All right, now we can use the try and catch. Once you try, once you want to use a uh, try and catch, make sure your try starts before the code starts, and open up with the curly brace. And at the end of your code, at the very end, like at not not right here, but right here. You just close it off with a sem not not semi with a curly brace. So basically this try is looking for errors. If it found any errors then it'll go to catch. Which I'm about to make right now. Catch. Make sure you have your open and close parentheses and make sure you type in exception and have a variable there. And let's do E. You can do T R doesn't matter. But in this tutorial we'll be using E. Let's view catch like an else of if else statement. So let's do like system dot out dot print line invalid input. We want the user to only input a number, not a letter or character. Alright, one more time. I imported a library so I could use the try and catch and I use the try before the block of code that I want to look for errors and this right here we're really concentrating on this because we don't have any errors around here we have errors right here like like if some users type in E then that won't work and make sure you close it off with the curly brace at the end of the block of code that you want to try. If your uh, compiler find any, or if your program find any errors, then it'll go to catch and it'll be invalid input or something like that, like invalid. So let's test this out and save that. Okay, and then uh, compile it. And now let's run it. Alright, it says choose one of the options, one of three. Mm, T. Invalid. 